Hello everybody. I'm coming to you after a day of driving and um, just all the challenges that go with um, driving across the state of Texas. Um, fortunately there was no bad weather. There was not really any incidents. Um, just one little section of the road that was down to one lane, but that's really good for this particular drive, so I'll take it. Um, and by one lane, I mean it's a two-lane road and it was down to one lane. But, um, you know, we're here, Madeline and Dietrich are glad to see each other again, at least today. Um, that could change tomorrow. The newness will have worn off by then. Uh, but it got me thinking about how I've been very intentional with my mindset and in what I put out there and obviously am I always this happy and this joyful? Well no. It is a choice that I make every day to be positive. And there are plenty of times when it would be easier to be negative, to be uh, just to give in and live in that frustrated place. But I constantly refresh my mindset and choose joy over, uh, you know, the turmoil or the conflict or whatever it is. So I'm going to give you a few examples of times when it would be easier to let that intentionality go. So the first is when the kids argue after you've only gone out of your driveway. That's obviously a time when it's really hard for me to... Um, keep positive because they've spent no time at all in the car and they're fussing before we're even out of the driveway sometimes. Um, sometimes they fuss on the way to church, which is not even a mile away, I don't think, from our house. So, you know, it's really hard um, to keep that mindset going. Some ways I can combat it is I just turn up whatever joyful music we have going on or I remind them of what happens when they act certain ways or what is expected of them and we go from there. The second time it's really hard would be whenever your child is in the midst of a crisis or a meltdown because it's, um, you know, your empathetic side, you know, you do feel bad, and sometimes maybe it's been a hard day for you too, and you want to fall apart with them. Um, so instead, you have to intentionally focus on what is positive about a situation and how you can make that situation better for them, and you know, have your meltdown of your own on your own time uh, because those are sometimes necessary. Uh, and I guess a final time would be when no one wants to go to sleep. Um, even though both my children said, I'm so tired, I just want to go to bed, I'm so exhausted. Um, they've both been in here probably 10 times since uh, about 8.45. And so I just have to remind them, you know, you need sleep. Because we can't have fun tomorrow if you don't feel good because you didn't go to sleep. So it's just constantly, not just reminding myself of my mindset, but passing all of that that I have learned on to them. Now, later on, I am going to do a video about um, my name that I chose, Radiant with Joy, on my YouTube channel. And I hope that you will all tune in and watch that because that gives a lot more insight into where this journey of intentional uh, mindset started and then I guess what it has grown into. So I hope you will all subscribe to my channel, which I'll put down um, in the comments, and um, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye!